so this is the aftermath that is after it is a day after the whole house was fumigated and this, we are the living room right now So there are not as many in the living room, but they are the big ones, like you can see. They're not dead. They're not all dead. All completely dead. So this is still the living room and I realized this the cockroaches hide on the little I don't know what these things are called the frames on the lower part of the walls So this is where we put our water containers I just pulled uh, the little tank This is the entrance to the kitchen So the kitchen is where you find all like 80% of the cockroaches. This is where they, they had made a home. I realized they dropped my biscuits while I was moving everything from the kitchen and I didn't even notice. You see this little frame here? This is what this is where these things have been hiding. This is behind the fridge. The eggs. See the eggs. So into the bedroom, we didn't have much in the bedroom.
This is my sewing machine. My dressing mirror. So I'll have to change all the water in the storage containers, also clean them because I'm just afraid the pesticide might have entered. hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here karibu karibu sana and my name is jen if you're returning from karibu tena so like the title of the video says i'm just dealing with the cockroach oh god my sad i'm just dealing with the cockroach situation in my house and uh you have already seen so we fumigated the house today is sunday so if we get the house on Saturday, so today I'll be cleaning the house and I'll just take you through. And yeah, I'm just doing the intro of this video because it'll see some, I'll look different in that video, but it was on a Saturday. So the cleaning is on a Sunday and uh, we moved into this house. I had no idea there were cockroaches, so I realized later on and I had to film get the house. So you guys will be able to see why I had to film me get the house because hey, those cockroaches were too much. And that's just the major tip basically of dealing with cockroaches. Before you move in into a house, film get it. So yeah, I'll be cleaning and I'll just show you. I'll just you'll just be seeing along the video. And I actually looked for guys to help me out with the fumigation and I paid. I paid those guys to film get. Although, so today is like a week later because I've not been editing my videos. So, they are, they're just kidogo, but they're supposed to come back. So, I'll just let them know when to come back and uh, fumigate probably the last time. Because right now, they're not that much. So, yeah. So, that is an update of after the whole video that you guys will see and uh, yes so that's it guys and uh, I had so many questions last time I'll also link that video down here and uh, also in the description box if you don't have much you can use that concussion and trust me I kept my house clean if, if they are there they are there you just need to look for a way of how to deal with them because guys asked me, some telling me they have the larger ones. I didn't know I had the big ones even in the sitting room. I'd only tell you the cockroach situation like we'd only see in the kitchen, not in the living room, not in the bedroom. And you'll actually see in the bedroom they're not that much. But in the living room, eh, I couldn't believe we had those, the big, big ones. And I was afraid after I saw them because those things can ruin your TV, they can ruin your radio. They can just do so much damage and you'll you'll come and realize it later on because i had a samsung 32 inch and when i took it to the actually one evening i watched the tv it was actually good went to bed the following morning it just the screen wasn't okay so when i took it to the fundi it can be a ribbon screen and that is just how elisha to evil so I was, I was actually afraid after I saw the whole mess because I've been trying to deal with them for a while and 
mm -mm, it was not okay so you guys will see and uh, if you have them just look for those guys because and i'll also look for there's one guy was told who who actually deals with the pesticide with the pests pest control or something just get guys if you know people who do it the house fumigated as we had to leave the house we didn't sleep in the house after the fumigation we cleaned and then came back later because i realized there are those that there are the pesticides that have smell and there are those that don't because this one now for me it was difficult because you can see i have rashes on my face they are not yet gone i reacted to it i just had that burning sensation on my face and uh it's also a reaction I also have when I'm sleeping under treated mosquito net. So I can't sleep under treated mosquito net. And if I do, my whole face will be burning. So that that's the, the only thing that made us not sleep in the house. The smell was not that mild. But uh, the following day we were able to sleep in the house. So actually my kids yeah, were able to sleep in the house. And then... After the fumigation, we closed all the windows, the doors, the doors, were, I also locked the house like fully. So you'll also see that, that there are some that look alive, but it's because they're not dead and because of the smell. I don't know the reaction to it or something, but uh, yeah, you guys will just see everything and also you've seen, but now I'll show you like the whole batch that I'll get from every room and uh, that will be it if i'll need to explain something i'll need to if you have any questions you'd like to ask please let me know in the description box below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also there are people who are afraid to ask questions Jamende, like cockroaches these things are there sometimes you just have to deal with them and i was not even afraid of just shooting this video because they are there these things are there they are there they are there you just need to deal with them and in this channel, I keep it real. I keep it real 100%. So yeah, that was the situation. You'll still see the situation. I also had to change the water in our storage containers, like all. The same day I had to do laundry because I had to do all the curtains to clean all the curtains because of the smell. And I think up to now, today, which is a week later, I've not even returned the curtains up, although there is a project that I'm doing and you guys will still see. So... Don't forget to give this video, video. <laughs> why? Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. This will help it being suggested to as many people as possible. Yeah. And please subscribe to my channel. Let's get to 1000 subscribers. So thank you so much for the continued support. Hope you enjoy guys. So this is the bedroom and uh, I lost actually so much footage cleaning my bedroom but uh, yeah this is just me cleaning the bedroom and you can see like we cleared everything in the house we cleared everything in the house in this room I only left the bed the because they also sprayed on the bed and the dressing mirror and just my sewing machine so I started my cleaning in the in the bedroom. Shine bright up all night when never slow went down. Fall in love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the ground. Gotta keep this feeling, keep on breathing.
So this is the current situation and I'm really kind of exhausted because I got, okay I'll explain later because of the noise. So this is the current situation, I've just washed my water storage containers and changed the water. I'll also be using this, I'm thinking of using it to do laundry but again I'm really really allergic to this. I will like to the to this pesticide because I've been each time I come back to the house my skin is really itchy and burning so I'm thinking of pouring the water as well and clear up but now so I've just done the bedroom and the living room and I want to, do, to clean up the kitchen so this is the current situation of the kitchen I don't even know where to start. That is um, bleach and uh, hand wash. Hand, all of them are homemade. And I've also pulled down the curtains, like you guys have just seen. And well, I'm really fatigued, but I have to do this today. If I do not do this today, and I'm also working today, so I just have to make sure my house is clean and back to normal. And I also have to scrub this bathroom. Thing you do. Every time you hold me, take me higher.
is clean of course you will keep your horses clean but if the cockroaches are there they're there so you just need to identify where they hide and then um, what you're going to use to fumigate because it gets worse you see one two three you keep counting kidogo kidogo they get worse mine they were even up on the ceiling not mine I won't own them the cockroaches <laughs> were up on the ceiling it was it was so bad it was so bad but uh, if you're planning to fumigate make sure you fumigate but again don't stay in that house that specific day make sure you fumigate the whole house and then i on my last video i also advised on there's this uh insecticide it's called lava you'll find it on the streets mainly on the streets of nairobi you will find it there it works it works so for my for my end i just had to get guys and then those guys don't even tell you what they use they'll fumigate your house but they will not tell you the kind of products they use or what products they actually used but for me that lava works and this is not a sponsored video and, and yeah it's not sponsored but that works so thank you so much guys for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, please ask on the comment section below and I'll be glad to respond. Thank you so much. Bye.